When the All Blacks walked off Eden Park with the William Webb Ellis Trophy in June 87, who would have thought that almost quarter of a century would pass before they won it again? Likewise, when New Zealand Trucking Magazine first hit the shelves in March 85, who could tell 37 years would go by before a Southern Transport Mac would adorn the cover? In the month that Motor Truck Distributors celebrates its 50th year of operation, we feel incredibly privileged to have righted that anomaly. It is understandable that Southern Transport has a special place in the H.W. Richardson Group. It was, after all, the late Bill Richardson's first business. However, the truth is that the special moniker goes even well beyond that. Southern Transport is a company with a special place in the hearts of the wider trucking industry, community and enthusiast fraternity. It is therefore not overstating it to say it is a privilege to have Southern on the cover for the first time in our tenure as magazine owners. We also wanted to make it a little bit more special. The month of October 2022 sees Motor Truck Distributors, MTD, celebrating 50 years in existence, supplying and supporting the Mac Mark here in New Zealand. It's also 35 years to the month since the Southern Transport Mac Superliner 2 appeared as a feature, being MTD's 1000th Mac on New Zealand roads, with the October 87 issue of New Zealand Trucking largely dedicated to that milestone. So how fitting is it that Southern Transport's first Mac anthem should also be our first contact with Mac's latest offering? Keeping vehicles as clean as possible is a passion of mine. As a quote from the late Bill Richardson in his 1999 book, Wheels and Deals. It's a short sentence that encompasses the pragmatic expectation that was a hallmark of the man's life. The driver of Southern Transport's first Mac Anthem, Nick Young, would have done well working under Bill. In fact, you could say he goes a little beyond the expectation. Nick's Anthem took out the King Rig Award at the Gore Truck Show in June of this year. And at first glance, you can see why. A bulk tipper exposed to the daily joys of quarries, fertiliser stores, aggregate supply yards and concrete batching plants and with all that it still always looks sharp. It's Nick's little and often approach to cleaning that certainly keeps on top of the daily worksite residue. The first thing we discovered is lineage and mana cut you no know slack at Southern Transport. Here was a 9 axle bulky with 12.9 litres of MP8 motor between the rails running the 408 kilometre return run to Dunedin and back at 58 tonne HPMV pretty much daily. Leap ahead 48 years and number 30 at 58 tonne equates to 6.9 kilowatts, 9.2 horsepower and 44.9 newton metres, 33.1 pound foot of torque per tonne. Modest by today's standards but an interesting story was to unfold. It really is a considered thing, says Dale Cocker, General Manager of Specialised Transport for HWR Group. The terrain up to Dunedin has no real big climbs, just a few pinches. The rest is rolling or flat. If we needed to push on out further, we would take it to the next level. It's always a balancing act between capital costs, tear weight and productivity. Will we achieve more revenue with a bigger truck? Well, there's plenty of MP8s here working at much bigger GCM numbers and to date it's working out good. We try to quit them at 15,000 to 17,000 hours, or 850,000 kilometres. That's about 10 years service in our applications, give or take, explained Dale. There are a few things in life better than being in a loaded truck and trailer in the bottom of a quarry. With a good lorry snout pointed at the top, engage the differential locks and let the dog off the leash. Inside the cab, the MP8 has a lovely deep earthy note as it picked up the load and got rolling. The 12.9 litre motor hauled the 58 tonne GCM up the steep grades in third or fourth with Nick keeping the M-Drive in manual power mode, choosing to run the cutter just to ensure that the truck didn't confuse ambition with ability. The Anthem of course heralds the arrival of the M-Drive with crawlers, and the Southern Machine is fitted with the Mac TMD 12AD, M-Drive AMT 12 speed and one crawler option giving 13 gears total, with a crawler ratio of 17 to 1. There is also a2 crawler option with the Hillary Step conquering 19 to 1 bottom sprocket. Nick says it's a welcome addition, but also notes that they have been experimenting with the tyres because at times it's been the final connection with Mother Earth that's caused some issues. I think we've got it sorted now, she's getting in and out of where she needs to, says Nick. Step inside the Anthem and it's a whole new world that's for real. Well sort of. This is likely the last hurrah for the base cab shell we first met with the release of the CH back in 1988. Cabs in 2022 play a more dynamic role in survival, well beyond impact management. With the need to satisfy the North American market with not just productivity but now safety at a level matching the all-conquering Freightliner Cascadia, you'd have to argue that a complete redesign would be the daily chat around the water cooler at Mac HQ in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Although a step in the right direction, Bendix Wingman Fusion won't keep the safety walls from the door forever. Collision mitigation is no longer the end game. 
While certainly a step forward on technological offerings, there's no question Mac's gone for a more utilitarian look in the new cab, over the rugged individualism of the red ultra leather and elite interiors of generations past. We certainly do hope you like what you see, because this is it from Metroliner through to Titan. There's a lot of black, silver and grey, easy to clean plastic and composite materials used right throughout. And like all US monitored day cabs, it lacks storage, so the centre caddy between the seats added in the Manawa 2 is a godsend. Sitting in the pilot seat, square is definitely in, with all the dashboard regions framed in square or rectangular sections. The binnacle adheres to the crowd of offerings nowadays, with two 4 gauge clusters separated by Max co pilot diagnostics and telemetric screens. To the left, there's a lovely wrap where brake valves and climate controls find their home on the bottom row, and working from inside to out, there's M Drive, Entertainment, and Comms. And on the left of them, new rocker switches for accessories and a handy cluster. The gaping omission in a 2022 truck is an infotainment interface. There is no doubt that things are very different inside the cab of the new Mac Anthem. And looking at all the changes, we were for a brief moment gripped with fear of not being able to locate the famous custom built for Southern Transport badge. Surely this iconic shield of acknowledgement had not succumbed to the swipe of a corporate cost cutting exercise. But then MTD sales manager Stu Wind dabbed our sweaty foreheads with a damp cloth of reassurance saying don't panic guys, it's on its way. So there it is, that's the Anthem inside and out on our first visit. It's going to be interesting to look back in 20 years and see just what role the Anthem played in Volvo's North American Class 8 aspirations. To catch the full story and specs on Invercargill Bay Southern Transport's new Mac Anthem, then catch a copy of the October 2022 issue of New Zealand Trucking Magazine, or visit us at nztrucking.co.nz by clicking the link below. Remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons to see more fresh material like this as soon as it's published. Have a fantastic month out there, stay safe, and start cleaning the barbecue, summer's on the way.